Thank you. Senator Santorum, how are you? Doing great, good, Tom. Good. How are you? Not bad, not good. bad. Good. We have a little situation at the UN today. Uh, Mahmoud Abbas is going to put forth a uh, request it for is, state It is unconscionable that something like this could happen, uh, uh, un, you know, with the United States uh, seeming like almost a uh, disinterested, you know, bystander in this process that, that a uh, Palestinian authority, not even not even a, uh, a, a legitimate entity uh, from the standpoint of the, uh, uh, of the international community can, uh, can embarrass the United States. And that's what's going on. They're embarrassing the United States, and, and the President of the United States brought it on. Uh, he went there last year and stood up and said, oh, I, I wish I can be here next year. This, this, this kind of fuzzy-headed, you know, uh, pie-in-the-sky, naive foreign policy, you know, that wants to eliminate the world of nuclear weapons, wants to say, oh, gee, hopefully we can have a, you know, two-state solution by next year. This is, this is not, uh, this is not presidential. This is someone who's, who still, after two and a half years of being president, doesn't know what it means to be the president of the United States and, and the responsibilities that he has to keep us safe. And now we're being embarrassed in the United Nations. Uh, yeah, oh, sure, we'll veto it. Uh, but damage done because we've had weak leadership uh, on, the, on the part of this president. We need to meet, make it very clear that there would be consequences even before they came up with this, this, uh, this idea. And um, obviously the president uh, doesn't have the respect. Uh, he's not feared. And if you're not, not feared, feared yeah. if you're not feared by, by those who want to do us harm, then bad things happen. Speaking of that, right now, even on the border in, in Israel, there's uh, stone throwing, Molotov cocktail. Sure. What are your yeah, words to secure the, the, our United States support and faith of Jewish people worldwide? I would just say this, that uh, if you look at my record, uh, the worst nightmare uh, for the enemies of the United States in the Middle East is a Rick Santorum presidency, period. Look at my record. Look at who fought the administration on the Iran Freedom Support Act. It was my bill in 2004 when I introduced it and uh, went straight after the Iranian nuclear program when the CIA was saying it didn't exist. Uh, I had a bill that said we needed to, to, uh, to put sanctions on that, uh, on, the, on that program and fund that pro-democracy movement within Iran. Uh, I couldn't get a single co-sponsor to that bill. Uh, within six months, I had 60. Uh, after we, after uh, Ahmadinejad was elected and people started to see, hey, what's wait a minute, on, yeah. yeah, what's going on? So we got 60 co-sponsors, and every step of the way, the administration and Condi Rice opposed me. And, uh, in fact, uh, sabotaged uh, a vote on it in the uh, spring of 2006 when Joe Biden stood toe-to-toe stood -to -toe with Joe Biden, uh, and he, at the last minute before the vote, flashed a letter from Condi Rice who undermined me and said, no, we can't support this bill, and I still only lost by three votes. <laughs> uh, six months later, it passed because everyone could see, with just a six-month period of time, how uh, Iran was uh, not negotiating in good faith, surprise, and, uh, and that what we were proposing was, uh, was the right thing to do. Having said that, it passed. We put pro-democracy funding in place. Barack Obama yanked it when he came into Congress. He came into the, uh, excuse me, the presidency, and as a result, when the Iranian revolution took place, we had nothing. So your, your critique of, on national security issues cuts through uh, both parties. A absolutely. I mean, I, the other major bill I passed was a bill uh, called the Syrian Accountability Act to try to get, at the time, Syria out of Lebanon. And again, the administration opposed me. So uh, you know, we've been ahead of the curve. By the way, it passed, mm -hmm, yeah. and President Bush signed it uh, only after you know we were able to convince him that uh, you know Syria, the bad actor they were, needed to be punished if they were going to continue to try to threaten northern Israel and and support Hezbollah and its domination of the of of Lebanon. Give us a closing word to the people, the people of Israel and Jewish people worldwide in, in this very tense moment. They're very nervous. Well, uh, look, the biggest applause line that any Republican gets in every speech is if it mentions the word Israel. Uh, America is in solidarity with, with the Israeli people and with the state of Israel. We have a president who says he is, but acts like he isn't. And uh, he's not going to be here very long. Uh, if, uh, if people who are uh, lovers and supporters of the state of Israel stand up and do the right thing and support a, the strong horse. Uh, we need the strong horse, not, uh, not a little pony uh, running around untethered. Okay, appreciate it.